Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. I am so glad you are here. For the people who don't know me, my name is Rochelle. My brand is the DIY Affiliate Marketing on YouTube. And I am sharing affiliate marketing for beginners, tips, tricks, and secrets in step-by-step -step video, easy to follow tutorials. Are you looking for the quickest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to create your own affiliate marketing business online? Not sure what network you would like to join. Not sure what type of products or services that you would like to promote. Or are you just looking for the answers and nothing more? If that is what you are looking for, then you have arrived in the right place. I offer step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you exactly what to do and how to do it. This channel is for the beginners in affiliate brand website marketing. Today's topic is posting the share of sale merchant content, links, banners, and HTML pages to our affiliate brand website. This is what we covered up to date. We did the research and chose the brand. We created a brand name. We created a WordPress affiliate website. We created a search engine optimized site identity. We created a search engine optimized gravatar and WordPress profile. And if you have missed any of these videos, please check out the playlist. The link is in the description. Today I take you to the back end of the WordPress into the dashboard and also into the share a sale merchant content. Stick around, I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. This video is number two of a multi-part series in which I show you how to add the merchant code to your WordPress web website. In this video, I show you how to create and add an HTML page and a gallery to an already existing affiliate WordPress site, paid and free. Go to your account, affiliate login. Two ways you can get to links, get a link banner, scroll down to you see the explore, make a page, create customized products, any web page. The way is to be on to click make a page. Start with keywords. Click on the add from these results on the left and the product will be added to the page layout. If you choose your products, you will see they'll disappear from your list. Go into your page options. Here you can select a template if you've already created a template. This is a template that I've already created. You can sort by clicking in the drop down menu. You can sort by relevancy, by price, by merchant ID, by SKU number, by product name, by commission, and by product ID. 
also sort in the ascending or descending. If you choose price, ascending will mean the lowest priced first. to the highest price. The number of items that you want to see on your page and auto for your display width. You can change your border width. You can make it thinner. And this is the outer border. You can make it thicker just by moving this slider. You can also change the border color. You can add a link affiliate track, which is just your own personal information that you that will be added to the code. And then when you're done with the page op options, you now go to the product display options. You can view your info in your display. This is the information that shows up here. This is the short description. I can take that out. I can put the price in. Anything that you click into this box will show up here. in your product display box information. So anything that you click on or anything that you take away will show up here. This is product information labels. This is what will show up on the product information label. You can also adjust the width of your product box by making it thinner or wider, depending on what you would like to see on your website. You can also adjust the layout height. You can make it the height, you can make it taller, or you can make it shorter. And also the maximum width for your thumbnail, and I would stay with the 150 by 150, which will give you a normal thumbnail size. And you can also change the border on your product display. You can make it thicker or you can make it thinner. You can also change the border color. And you can link to a new window, or if you click in the drop down box, you can choose no and not link to a new window. You will notice as you mouse over your product display boxes, you will notice you'll see a four headed arrow. When you have the four-headed arrow, you can move your product box around. When you see the check mark, you let go of the mouse. You press gently down on the mouse 
On the left hand side, when you see this four headed arrow, press gently down on the mouse and then you can move your product box over and then when you see this check mark, you let go and it will snap into You can also remove any box by clicking on this X right here. You can add more products. You can add more product boxes if you want. And if you like this template, you can also save the template. Save and get options. Here you can get your page code. You can get your page code from two places, from get your page code and also from the page purview. You can also get your gallery code from here and also from the gallery pre preview. You can save your products to favorites by clicking it on save products to favorites. And if you already have a list name, then you can type in your list name or you can create a new list name. and then you would create your favorites list. You can save your merchants to favorites by typing in your merchant's name or any name that you would like to give, give your list. You can export to commerce separated value in which you will see a pop-up box come up and you can save this information in a Google spreadsheet. And then here is where you save your layout template. and you give it a name. So next time you want to use it, you just pull up the template. It'll say template saved. When you are done, you can then click on your page preview. This will give you a preview of your page, the way that it is going to look. on your WordPress. You can also look at the gallery preview. And this is the way that it will look on your work. And you can see that a person can just click this arrow here and they will be able to see all of the different products. close your arrow and now you go over to your WordPress. I'm going over to a page hosting the plus sign where you see new, choose page, open up, you go back over to your share sale account and click page preview. Get code. Code. Make sure you are inside your box. Select all. And 
copy over back over to WordPress. Choose the plus sign custom HTML. If it's not showing up in the box here, just type in custom H, just start typing custom HTML. It'll come up under formatting. Right click, paste. Preview. Add your title. Save draft. And publish. You. This is now what your page will look like. I am in my free site at wordpress.com and you can create as many free WordPress sites as you would like. I'm going to scroll down to my pages. A free WordPress has different styles, sheets set in edits have to be done in order to actually make a page and put it on your free WordPress. Use blank layout, and even blank layout does have style, some styling in it. Custom HTML. And then right click. Paste. When you click preview, what it looks like on your actual inside the dashboard. Add a title. Now when you click preview, this will take you out to the actual WordPress. it will automatically save this information. This is where the editing needs to be done. All this information here, this is all the styling of the page. So what you wanna do is you scroll down until you see your first title, which is the, win mine is the Winter Delight gift box. And I'm just going to close that. Click into the custom H uh, HTML, click on HTML, 
And now I'm going to look for where I saw that information. This is after the styling. We'll look for the first title of your product. And if you forget, click preview. And it's called Winter Delight Gift Box. Okay. In this. There it is right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all this information on top. Now this is the easiest way that I found to be able to be able to use the makeup page with a free site. So preview, preview. And here you can see that it has now come up with all of your products, but they are not in the same and then preview. Make a page, close this box. You can also save your code in a notepad if you want to save it in your notepad. That way you can use it again on another WordPress. Gallery preview. Get code. and then select all and then copy go over to your wordpress click on the plus and you can put this in a post once your post page is open you would just click on the add block custom HTML, right click, paste, preview, add your title, Review and it will automatically save. Click Publish. And it will tell you that your gallery is live. And again, you can save the code to your notepad very easily so that you can use it in more than one WordPress and getting it going into the save and get options. And if you click in get page code, and you do the select all, copy. Open up your Chrome notepad from your browser. Go to a 
put a little bit of a description. And then right click and paste. Open up a new note. Go to get gallery code. Oops. Go to get gallery code. Select all. Copy. Open up your Chrome notepad. little bit of a description and then paste your information in. Now this information don't edit anything in here don't touch anything in here because if you change something you will change something in what your page looks mm -hmm. like. I'm just going to close this box. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have found this video helpful to you, then please give this video a thumbs up. This will show me that you like what I'm doing. And I will look out for any of your comments and I will get back to you. And also subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you are notified of the next video uh, that I post. And there is six videos in this video series. This is number two. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.